Hello and welcome. Today we're working on the what if analysis function in Excel called Goal Seek. Hello, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn. I help you finally learn financial skills, including Excel. So let's get started with Goal Seek. Let me kind of explain what Goal Seek is. Goal Seek lets us change one number to, to have another number be what we want it to be. So for example, we can change units produced and force our profit to be break-even point or profit of 1,000 or profit of 3,000. So let's look at our numbers here, and we're going to do this four different ways. We're going to change the units produced, the sales price, the variable cost per unit, and the total fixed cost. That's what if analysis. What would our profit be if we change the units or if we change the sales price or so on? So let's take what we have. And I'm, I need to have a input section for each of the four sections. So let me just copy this real quickly. It's going to be the unit sold or produced to the same number here. So we need to make it an absolute address. We need to have our sales price of $25. We're going to assume that. Our variable cost is $13 each. Make it absolute address. And our fixed cost is 27500 absolute. So we're going to be able to now copy this all the way across and do what if three different times. So this is our current level. And let's quickly calculate. Well, our revenue is going to be 2,000 units times the $25. That's going to be 50000 of revenue. To get our variable cost, it's going to be 2,000 times the $13. We're going to subtract out revenue minus variable cost and get our contribution margin of 24,000. Our fixed costs are 27,500 here. And our profit looks like it's going to be a loss. And the loss is 3,500. Now, we have built this where we can change only one thing at a time. Goal Seek can change one variable at a time. So we copy this across and we're using all these same variables then we get all the same number. So this calculation is built on the 2,000 here times the 25. So we have each column that is calculated on the numbers above in that same column. So what we're going to do is let's make the units produce zero. And we'll see that our formula then calculates a loss of 27,500. Well, if you don't know how to do goal seek, one way you could do this is just start changing numbers. You can say, well, let me put in 2,000. Okay, we know that's a loss. Let me put in 2,100 and see how our profit, well, it reduces our profit. We need to go to 2,200 maybe. And now it's 1,100. So you can do just iterations and just kind of guess. Well, that may take you a little while. Goal seek is faster. You can get the, the correct number immediately. So let me put this back to zero and let me show you goal seek. So we're going to goal seek says change this one cell, the units, to make this profit zero. Break even point is the point where you have zero profit. The revenues equal the expenses. Now we're not trying to get zero profit but that's an improvement over the loss of 3500. So let's get started with Goal Seek. So if you go to the data ribbon on Excel, all the way to the right, there's What If Analysis, there's Scenario Manager, Goal Seek, and Data Table. We did Data Table in a previous video, and so I'll link to it below. Goal Seek is really simple. It just takes three things. It says set the sale. We want to set the sale profit to a value. Now here we have to enter the number. We're going to set the profit to zero by changing only one cell. And that's going to be the cell that says units produced. Now watch, if you look, it starts counting up all the way to 2292. It said it found a solution. We'll hit OK. If we look at that 2292, then it's really 2291 and two thirds. So it has this full number there. And so there's no way we entered that number, right? It goes to 15 decimals or whatever. So that is the correct answer, 2292. Let's do Goal Seek for 1,000. So Goal Seek, we're going to set the sale profit to equal 1,000 by changing just the units produced sale. 
we have a solution and it actually is $23.75. Now what about a $3,000 profit? Let's do what if, goal seek. We're gonna change the profit cell. Now we need to enter 3,000 and we can change the cell, the units produce cell. And you see it counts up until it gets to 2542. So apparently 2542 is 2541 and two thirds. So these are all using Goal Seek. Now, one of the challenges of the Goal Seek, it's super easy to do, but it is, it's not really dynamic because that number, it just forces that number and you can't see what happened. You could type that number in, you get the same number. So if I typed in 2375, you get that number and you don't know you use Goal Seek. But Goal Seek can get that number just within 30 seconds, right? So it's faster than trying to type different ones. So here is how to change the units with Goal Seek and get a zero profit, a $1,000 profit, and a $3,000 profit. All right, let's do it where we change the sales price. What if we keep the 2000 but we change the sales price? So let's reset this. Let's copy this all the way down. I think we have the ability to do that. So let's copy this. Now, we need to put this back to 2000, so we need to copy this across 2000. Looks like everything's functioning correctly. And we're gonna make the sales price zero. So what if our sales price is zero? Well, that's not gonna work very well. We wouldn't have a zero sales price, but we know that that is functioning if we put these as zero. So now let's change the sales price. We have to increase a little bit so we have a break even point. So let's go back to our data ribbon, what if analysis, goal seek, and we're going to set the profit sale to a value of zero by changing only the sales price. Now watch, it's going to go up from zero up past 25 to whatever that number needs to be. So it calculates it at 26.75. So what we need in this case is a sales price. We need to adjust our sales price to $26.75. Assuming everything stays the same, then we'd have zero profit. We're gonna do this again for a $1,000 profit and a $3,000 profit. So goal seek, we're gonna set the sale profit to equal 1,000 by changing only the sales price sale, the sales price and it calculates it 2725. So just a little bit more than we get a thousand dollar profit. Let's do it a third time at 3000. We're going to do goal seek, set the profit to 3000 by changing the sales price. It takes just a minute to calculate it to a couple of seconds, rather $28 and 25 cents. So here is our three numbers if we changed our sales price. If we want break even point, we need to change our sales price. Or if we want a profit, we change it to 27.25, a profit of 1,000. Or if we want a profit of 3,000, we have to change the sales price to $28.25. So now you get the hang of it, we're gonna do these other two pretty quickly. Let's change just the variable cost per unit. So I have the ability to copy this, copy it and paste. Now, we're going to change, I need to make this $25 all the way across again, so we're back to our original numbers, and we're gonna change the variable cost to zeros. Now, that's important because if it has that formula in it, normally it has the formula, you know, B5, if it has the formula, it can't change a formula, it can only change a number. So we have a, a number zero in here, and so we know that if we had no variable cost, now this would be nice, then our profit is really high, but that's not uh, gonna be realistic. So let's do on the data ribbon, go to what if analysis and then goal seek. And we're gonna set the profit cell to zero by changing only the variable cost. It starts at zero and it goes up to 11.25. So what happens is, instead of having variable cost of $13, we need variable cost we need to work it down to $11.25 to sell the same amount, 
to have a zero profit. Now these are going to be go essentially go down from 13 down to 11, down to 10, down to 9, or whatever the number turns out to be. So let's do, if we want a thousand dollar profit, we're going to do um, the profit of 1,000 here by changing only the variable cost and it's going to count up to a little bit less than 1125 down to 1075. Now what if we want a $3,000 profit? It looks like we have 2,000 units. We want to, it's going to probably reduce it by exactly one dollar. I bet it's going to be 975. Let's see. So we're going to change the profit to be a value of 3,000 and we do that by changing the one input which is our variable cost and it's going to be 975. So here we've changed three things. We have changed three variable cost so if we want to improve our profit we can reduce our variable cost. Here on our sales price we had to increase our sales price. Now the simplest of all is going to be the total fixed cost and you'll see how this works immediately. So let's copy all this down. We're going to take the 13 and copy it all the way across. We want that back to 13. But our fixed cost, we're going to make it zeros all the way across. And obviously our profit would be much higher. But we want to calculate what would fixed cost be if, if we have a break-even point our fixed cost needs to go down. It needs to go down really like 3,500. So I bet this is 24,000. So let's see how it works. Go back to the data ribbon. What if analysis, goal seek, and we're gonna set the profit back to zero by changing only the fixed cost. Now remember, everything's built on formulas. So for this to work, these formulas have to be dependent on these four variables. It found a solution we need to reduce our fixed cost down to 24000 and we'd have a zero profit or we'd have break-even point. Two more here and we're finished with this. We'll do a goal seek on the profit, if it's the profit of 1000 by changing the cell fixed cost here. And what we have is 23000 is our fixed cost. Now the last one we're going to change our profit to 3000 by changing only the fixed cost and the profit would be 3000 if our fixed cost is $21,000. So that's how you do goal seek. It's a simple little calculation, but it's a what if calculation that can be pretty powerful and it's faster than trying to change that variable into what you need. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.